That would be great, but they have aces, which is cool. Clean, clean it. Quick overview if you're just tuning in. We're gonna play every single spin overdrive on the site except for the 25 cent to save some time. What's different about spins overdrive is you can win anywhere in the middle. So there's actually thousands of potential prizes you could win. It's not just like 10 options, which is kind of cool. Let's start with the cheap one, the $1. Rip up a Thomas in the house. MLB handler, yuck mouth. What's up, everyone? Come on, let's go. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, next holiday, dude. Next holiday, we'll see you in the home game. Don't worry. It'll it'll pop up in no time, man. Jack seven, not great. I don't think enough to call it all in, but they give us a free flop, which is sweet. They pot it. I think out of position, I'm going to fast play here. I think it's a good enough hand, and the pot size bet is not actually very strong. <whistles> Raise less than all in. I think we call here, uh, getting two to one in position, it's not a nothing hand with the 9-8s. If it was like 9-6, we would fold, right? I think with 9-8, it's enough. Flop a pair of 8s, they bet 84. So we kind of wish they potted it here, because that's better for them to look weak here. But, you know, we have a good hand. They have a much better hand with the top pair and the flush draw. You know, if we knew it was King Jack, we'd play this hand the same way. I mean, pre-flop, if we knew, we would just fold. But if we didn't know until we limped, we would call and then we would play it on the flop, you know? So we're gonna lose the first one, zero dollars. One dollars in buy-ins, zero dollars in cashes. Okay, but just warming up. Three dollar overdrive coming up. Let's get it somewhere in here. Maybe somewhere over here, perhaps over here even. I wouldn't complain, keep going. Yes, okay, nice, all right. See, I think I should actually jam there, but I was just getting too passionate about video content. Uh, as we would have oh, maybe won this one as well. Poker content creators be measured by their YouTube output as opposed to their Twitch output, which is shifting some of the focus onto video content uh, and then sort of non-discoverable streams on, on YouTube platform as opposed to here, as we are looking pretty good to double it up with King Queen, nice suck out. No, it's not rivaling uh, chess content in terms of viewers, but uh, there's a large amount of people that want to watch poker streams. And that's a good thing, you know? And at the end of the day, it's still a really valuable thing for partners as well, for for poker companies that want to get the word out about what it is that they do. 909 is the cash here, nine bucks. All right. I mean, we made probably a bad fold with the King 10 and then we sucked out, but we got the win and that's really what matters. So our buy-ins are $4, our cashes are nine. Oh, nine. We move on to the next level, which is the $5 level. Two point two five. Not ideal, but it's fine. Eleven twenty five is what we're playing for. Let's keep it going. It's a great game. And one of the things that I really would love, we're going to go all in with King 8 here. So King is... Uh, Wow, nice. King eight, queen six. Here we go. This is a good start. Let's go, dude. 500 bucks. Because I think often they kind of just like duplicate the live poker experience and kind of ask people what they want and they say they want a faster horse. And so they build faster horses. That's an example of like online poker's advantage over live poker. We can do more interesting and cool things. And I think there's so many great opportunities in online poker for that. And people just aren't... Um, there's not the right leadership in charge to f force those things to the forefront. All right, anyways, um, so we lose the $5 level. We have $9 in buy-ins, $9.09 in caches. We've won one out of three. Okay, we basically call it a scratch, right? We've got four left in the episode. Let's play the $10 chat and uh, make him, them aware. I haven't heard of that though. All right, here we go, $10. Keep going, ooh, 2.31. Okay, raise call with the fives, I think that's fine. A min re-raise to 60. I think I'm just all in here. It's eight deuce. Oh, the gamble is here. We take it down. Let's go chat. Sometimes you love a bit of gamble. Call with sixes against eight, seven. Ooh, we've got a flip. Ah. Six. No. Okay. I think this is a good enough hand, by the way, to call for eight blinds. 
King six, Queen eight. Okay, basically flipping forty four point seven percent. Diamond. Dang it. Dang it. Zero bucks. That is a zero dollar. Our buy-ins are now at nineteen, and no longer are we uh, in the profit. Next up, the twenty dollar level. Let's go. I just kicked you out of your own home game, Rip Bozo, lol, GG. Okay, relax, dude. Don't call me Bozo, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, good luck. 47.80 is going to be what we're playing for in the spins overdrive. Good luck. Uh, raise, 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 raise. Frustrating. Yeah, it depends what, like, where you're talking about, but, you know. It doesn't make a lot of sense around the world that poker is held to the same standards of a lot of the other games that happen in casinos. Man, what a terrible uh, start. Okay, well, that was pretty quick there, chat. Zero. 39 at buy-ins, $9 in cash. We got two chances left. The base schedule in terms of like getting enough volume and liquidity on our, our daily legends every single day and stuff. So like some of these other variants that are sort of... Um, versions of poker that are like you know sort of more not gimmicks but like just different versions the value of the games right in terms of like who you're playing against all of that stuff that we can try and be the best at uh and so i think that's kind of what we're doing here is that we're trying to provide a really solid experience for poker players poker as it should be that's fun and exciting and interesting 910 suited this is going to be a call but they limp i think jam is good if i can get them to fold some queen highs some jack highs even a king high that would be great, but they have aces, which is... Ooh. Clean. Clean it. Clean it. Clean it. Let's go! Flush is good against aces. Now, the thing is, if they go all in with aces, we're going to call with 9 10 suited. So it's not going to change anything, but obviously, uh, we sucked out again. Can we do it with the jack-10, the two broadways? Can we get it done? They have three blinds now. Queen-10, of course. Ready to go. Absolutely ready to go. Yep. That's it, dude. $142. That is a huge win. We really needed that. $142. Uh, the buy-ins are now $89, and the caches are $151. The way the math is mathing is that we got a $100 buy-in, which means we need to win this for the profit. Hello, everyone. I think I have the coolest piece of poker software you've ever seen today. It is called Hybrid Poker brand new piece of poker learning software where you test your score against myself, against Daniel Negreanu, against Bill Perkins, and see how you score against the three of us, as well as other poker players as well. But Hybrid Poker learns about you, the player, which is, this is really cool. As Hybrid Poker gets to know you, it's going to tell you what to work on. There's a link to the IQ test down below. Try it for free. I think you'll like it. So try it out. Comes down to this. What are we playing for? Keep going. Go hard. Go hard in the paint. Two and a half. All right. All right. Ten nine against Queen Jack. This is to get heads up, I think. Ooh, ten nine with the straight. Ten nine with the straight. Chip leader. Man in bikini is pretty short now. East three. If they call, still think we overcall with East three. It's winner take all, right? So I think we call closing the action with the suited ace. We need a spade or a three. No jack, no six. Spade, let's go! We're in the lead, baby. What a suck out. All right, king five, king nine. I kind of want to chop here, but that's not how it's going to be. Two to one chip advantage. Ooh, 40, 80 as well. Dang it. Okay. I think they're one hand away from tie here. Here we go. This is it. Skeletor. Win the flip chat to profit. No, seven. Oh, come on. Well, we're not dead. We have 40 chips, but. All right. Come on. Come on. Hold. Hold. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> come on. Come on. Seven. Failure. It's failure. Uh, we lose $35. That's the end of the ladder. Listen, you can't win them all. If you're watching this in the video world, thank you for watching.